years gone by pretty quick, I guess, right? Yeah. Um, is this is it a good option for you physically? Yeah, I mean, it's been great. I mean, I've gotten a lot stronger than I've been, put on a lot of muscle, and I'm uh, feeling good this offseason. Did you feel like the end of last season when you really came on, did you feel like that was the first time you were kind of full, full strength after the Achilles? Because guys say it takes one year. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely a work in progress throughout that season. And, uh, yeah, I feel like, obviously, throughout the season, I got more comfortable both with the injury and then just being in the NFL and playing football again. So, um, yeah, even up to this point, through this offseason, I felt a lot of growth through the injury and just entire body, you know, gaining strength and gaining balance. I uh, mentioned, uh, you know, gaining some muscle. How much do you weigh now and what have you put on? Uh, I'm like, I'm probably about 285, but I probably put on like 11 pounds of muscle. And then, I guess what went into just the thought process behind that? And how did you do it? Like, was it, you know, just a specific way of having to do this every day? Or? Uh, I mean, my thought process behind it was just, you know, uh, gaining as much muscle and losing as much body fat. So trying to balance that out so I don't gain so much weight and just uh, trying to figure out that balance. But I mean, it's just been... You know, hard work, lift, lifting weights, and staying on my diet, and supplementing the right way, and things like that. Dio, new defensive line coach last year, new system, I guess, for you guys. How do you feel like that kind of fits your game, or how did it fit your game? Yeah, I mean, uh, last year, obviously, being in a new system uh, was different for everybody, just uh, the way we play and attacking more than reading. Um, and I think it obviously, uh, like Sat show, it helped us improve in our play as a D-line. And um, even through this year, I think just watching everybody and myself, uh, everybody looks more comfortable in the in the scheme and looks more uh, feels more comfortable in myself being there. Do you think interior is kind of your best fit? I mean, I enjoy playing all over the line, so I wouldn't say I just have one specific best fit, but um, I think I best help the team being able to be versatile and move around the line just with the way seasons go and having people get injured and different things like that. So, yeah. Is that kind of, is there some advantage of moving around different matchups and that kind of thing? Do you like that part of it? Yeah, I mean, I do enjoy that part of it. Like like you said, having different matchups, being to get, able to go against the guards, the centers, and also tackles. So uh, for me, um, I think I have different advantages that help me at each position. So being able to do that has been something that throughout my career and even in college is something that I feel has helped my game. Does, does that mean that when you, like say you're outside on, on first down and you move inside on second, <coughs> does that mean that your your game plan sort of changes? Because you, like you said, you have different strengths in each position. You want to obviously play into those. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, just playing in end and playing interior, you're going to have to change how you play the game because the pace of the game is quicker inside. You know, things are just happening a little faster. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, inside, guards usually are a lot shorter builds, shorter arms, things like that. So being able to use my length inside and uh, having a little bit more speed than the average uh, interior D lineman definitely is able, uh, definitely switch up for something that guards and centers aren't used to. Uh, what's been your impression or just getting to know uh, Samson? Uh, no, Samson's a great guy. Uh, just seeing him play, we watched a lot of them uh, on film and Sam Franks, they run a similar scheme to us. Just watching him play last year and seeing him pop up the tape and then seeing him come in this year and see how he works. Uh, he's a great teammate, great guy, uh, puts his head down and works, doesn't bother anybody, but, you know, he's a funny guy, you know, has fun, so. I don't know if Coach Bradley mentioned this to you guys or even Coach Ollie, but you guys finished just a couple sacks short of the franchise single season record last year. Did you know that, and is that any sort of focus for the team going into this year? Yeah, I mean, that's something I am aware of, but uh, I wouldn't say it's a focus for something we're going, looking at, I don't think anyone's thinking about it, you know, but um, it's definitely something that's cool to come close to. It would have been awesome to break it, but obviously we have a season ahead of us that uh, if we focus on all the right things and getting better, then if that's something that results up in, that'd be great. What's been your development just alongside uh, Quiddy and how you all have grown together? Teammates, brothers, um, and then obviously the football players. Yeah, I mean, being able to Work alongside Quiddy's been great. I mean, seeing how he works and the things that he comes brings with him and the attitude he plays with, and then uh, even being able to work out with him in the offseason, things like that have been you know great.
great and just seeing his process outside of uh, outside the facility has been something that's helpful to me and being able to lean on each other and touch arms and things like that. So it's been great being able to come in with him and <coughs> grow with him. What was the last month of the season like for you last year? It seemed like you really started to, to pick things up. Did anything in specific change? Um, I mean, I think it was just getting more comfortable uh, being in the NFL, being coming off an injury, uh, obviously getting, getting more playing time and just gaining confidence on the field uh, and gaining trust from my teammates and the coaches. So I think that's kind of was a result of, you know, all those factors. Tyus, this might be a stretch, but with your bandy teammates, did you talk to any of them about facing Anthony Richardson at all and, and uh, their thoughts or their coaching staff? No, I mean, I watched that game, so I, I kind of was able to see it. Um, we got the dub, but he actually played a good game. His receiver was weighing him down, but uh, uh, I mean, obviously being able to see him throw, he has a great arm, he's a great athlete, so uh, I'm excited to see his future. When, when you have a new quarterback like that, I know you play defense, I know it's not in your purview, but does it kind of bring a little juice to the, to the locker room, I mean, especially a guy with those kinds of skills? You know? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it definitely uh, brings a, a new type of energy to the locker room, seeing the, uh, a young guy with, with the type of ability and the type of talent that he has and the, the type of ceiling that he has. So, I mean, I definitely think that brings some energy to the team that, you know, you have a guy uh, – on the team that has the potential to be, you know, the best at his position. So uh, it's, it is exciting as a as a player to be able to watch that and be a part of that and help him grow.